So this week I started a 30 day Poshmark challenge. I am challenging myself to list a thousand items in 30 days. So how did that affect my sales this week? Find out in this What's With video. Hey reseller besties, it's Stephanie with Three Queens of Resale and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me and if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me as I work on building my positive reseller community. Note it, I said positive, so if you are a troll or a hater, be gone. I only need positive energy, positive mojo to sell my items. So that's what we're bringing here. So if you like positive energy, reseller content, and a renegade teacher, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to, and let's get into it. So this video is a what sold video, and I'm starting with November 1st and going through November 7th. And then at the end, I will sum up my week and we'll find out how close I am to making my November goals that I went over in my October video and if you have not watched that why not it's up here go watch it please and thank you so November 1st Monday November 1st um, one sale on Poshmark it was this Misook uh, cardigan vest it sold for $20 after the $4 in fees I was up at 16. Um, it had been listed since February. It was item 270 in our listings. Um, next up on November 2nd, which was my mama's birthday, um, we had three sales all on Poshmark. Polo, this Polo Jeans Company large um, red hooded sweatshirt. It sold for $15, and after the $3 in fees, I was left with 12. I don't, that had been around a lot, while. I'm not sure how long though. Next up was a banger. When I say banger, I mean banger. It was this Joseph Ribkoff pullover um, knit sweater. It was like a, a size 12. It was like a brown, green, like puffy sleeve type thing. It was mine and I listed it because I'm gonna I'm a be real. I'm a woman of a certain age and I have hot flashes. And every time I wore this sweater, I would have sweat running down my back. No cap or all cap or whatever the kids say now. But it sold for $60. And after the $12 in fees, I was left with 48. And to be honest, I was not expecting that much. I list a little higher because I send out offers to likers and give shipping discounts and then bundle discounts and all that. So Someone bought it like for my full asking price. Yes. That was like the unicorn of sales. But it had been listed since September. Um, I did a like, I'm cleaning out my closet haul and that was in there. And so yeah, I'll link that up above too. Um, but yeah, so if you are my size, which is like large, extra large, yeah, check me out. You might see some things in there you want to buy, or you can go to Three Queens Resell is my Poshmark store, or follow me on Instagram at Three Queens underscore Resell to see the links in my bio to all of my platforms that I sell on. So, if we're going to be friends, you might as well know where to find me. And I need to know where to find you, so make sure you put your Poshmark store in the closet and I will check you out. I am trying to buy as many as my of my Christmas and holiday gifts um, as I can from resellers from the secondhand market. So definitely drop your store name. If you sell on eBay, Macari, something else, drop that in there and I'll go check you out. But um, next on Poshmark was this pink Victoria's Secret pajama pant medium size red. Um, they had also been listed since September. Uh, they sold for $13. I took an offer for $13 after the $2.95 fee. I was left with 10 dollars bringing my Tuesday 
to $70.05 and for those three items. November 3rd, which was a Wednesday, I had two sales. One was this North Face Best um, size small. It sold for $18, and after the $3.60 in fees, I was left with $14.40. Um, that person got a steal of a deal because um, I, I have about 1,100 items in my Poshmark store. So when I sing, do closet clear out offers, sometimes um, things get lower than I expect. I've really tried to like focus on that. Um, of course, I'm not going to cancel the sell if a person gets a steal of a deal like that because I didn't catch that that had dropped below what I would consider acceptable. Um, but they got it. They, whatever it is, it's whatever. And yeah, the next was an eBay sale. It was Abercrom this Abercrombie cropped rugby shirt, um, from my consignee Emma. I do, um, do consignment and I'll talk about that in later videos. My consignee gets 40% of the profit and I get 60 after fees. So it sold for $17.00. After the two dollar and fifty five cents in shipping, I was left with fourteen forty five. But there's a story behind this. This person returned the item, or opened up a case or whatever on eBay as item not as described. And in her long winded description of as item not described, she broke a button on it. That's basically she tried to put it on and a button broke. I don't know under what circumstances the button broke. I don't even really give a care under what circumstances the button broke but that is not item not described but I took it back anyway and it just really irritated the crap out of me like I am so over eBay now if you sell on eBay and love it good for you I sell on eBay and I hate it I hate listing on eBay I hate dealing with eBay customers I hate dealing with eBay I do not think that they are for all the work that you have to put in it and be perfect I don't think that they have much for the buyers I mean they keep touting this like global audience which yeah they got that they have a global audience and that is important to have a bigger reach but I just find eBay so annoying and frustrating and my sister who is also a reseller Queen Lemon Cake on Instagram um, I think all of her shop names and everything are Queen Lemon Cake as well she loves eBay, so to each their own. Am I going to stop listing on eBay? No, because I need to make money and pay my bills. But just a small eBay rant, it is not my platform of choice. Um, I know their percentages are better, their commissions are better than um, Poshmark's. I know they have a global reach. Blah, 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 blah. I know you can sell anything on there. All that. It's just not my jam. For whatever reason... I feel like eBay has burned me too many times. I've been, um, just have a bad taste in my mouth about it, but I'm still going to keep going to the water fountain because at this point I have to. Um, life goals is that Poshmark for me is enough to sustain me with the other platforms that I deal on and I can like let eBay fall to the wayside. But I have over 500 items listed on eBay, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Rant over, well, that brings uh, Wednesday's total to $28.85. Thursday, November 4th, um, I had quite a, I had seven sales, so let's get into it. First of all was this MBA All Teams Mashup Bed Sheet um, from Pottery Barn Team. Um, picked it up at a dollar at a Goodwill, it was like, I never looked through the sheets, but I don't know why I was looking through the sheets. Maybe I saw a reseller what sold video, and I'm like, I'm going to look through the sheets too. But I've done it that one time and never again. But it sold for $25, and after the $5.20 and the $1.15 shipping discount, I was left with $19.30, and that sold on Poshmark. And it had been listed since August, and it was our... 1,111th listing. There's some gnat in front of me. I don't know why. And P.S. I'm in my dining room and what I call I-65. So uh, <laughs> I got all kinds of issues here. And I'm just not going to edit any of this out. So you're going to get to see me and my craziness. 
but my husband, my dog, my kid could walk past behind me at any point or make any type of noise and just know that I'm a real person, not a YouTuber. Um, and that's what's happening. Um, but I digress. Let's move on. Next up was this uh, Chelsea Crew Lace Up Oxford, size six and a half. Um, it was a bad pickup. Someone offered me $8. I took it. Um, so after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $5.05. And then they opened up a case. <laughs> I don't know why. They just guessed they didn't. I don't know. But um, Poshmark. I didn't, I, I didn't comment. Like, you don't want it. Send it back. Like, whatever. I'm a lot easier with returns on Poshmark than I am on eBay because eBay, like, dings you and, like, hides your stuff from other... What's that term? Shadow bans you. Poshmark is just like, whatever. So, um... I never got the shoes back in the $5.05, which, you know, I wasn't looking for, but whatever, was deposited into my account. So I'm not really sure what happened with that. Maybe they gave them their money back, told them to keep it, and gave me my money back, whatever. Um, but it had been listed since September, and it was listing $1,889. Next on Poshmark were these Bruno Magli size 8 men's black Oxford shoes. Um, this joker here, he sent an offer for a hundred dollars and then before I could accept it, he like took it back and then he sent an offer for 75. So I was like, should I counter offer? Cause I knew he was willing to take a hundred, pay a hundred at first. Like this all happened in like three minutes, but I went ahead and just took the offer for 75. I didn't counter cause I was, I was afraid to lose the 75. Um, so after the $15 in fees, I was left, left with 60 and I don't have, those haven't been listed long, but I'm not sure how long they've been listed. Um, next up on Poshmark was the Serafini knit sweater pullover size extra large. And this is one of my dad's sweaters. Um, I talk about my dad all the time. So if you are new to my channel, you're just going to have to live with it because I talk about him all the time. I listed, um, probably 600 pieces of clothing from him. He passed away June um, 3rd. And so in cleaning out his home, instead of giving all his things to Goodwill, I just took them. <laughs> and so I've been listing them and they've been slowly selling. But I listed this sweater as a women's sweater on accident and it sold. So it sold for $30. And after the $4 in fees, I was left with 24 um, it had been listed since September and it was our 1,522nd listing of the year. It's crazy that I'm trying to list a thousand items in a month when from January to September, I'd only listed 1,500. So essentially I'm trying to like list like two thirds of what I listed in a whole year in a month. I know I'm on day four of it. There will be a video that for you to watch. So just prepare the others. Um, next up were these H&M jeans size 12. Um, they sold in, on Poshmark for $9. And after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $6.05. And then on um, Macari, I sold this Ann Taylor knit dress. It sold for $13 after the $1.98 in fees. Um, and some shipping. Did I pay shipping? Anyway, I ended up with $7.02 on that dress on Macari. Um, people ask me about Macari. It's whatever. I list stuff on there. Um, normally, I, here's my listing order. Um, everything is put into list perfectly. I don't have a fancy code or anything. I'm not an affiliate. Um, if you need want to use list perfectly, a reseller passion. Leslie Tucker, who is one of my Instagram friends, and she's like an influencer. She does have a code. Um, so if you follow her on um, Instagram or go to her Instagram, it's in her bio. So if you want like a discount off list perfectly, go find a reseller's passion. Or I think if you go to their website, they'll give you a, a discount code. But go, go hook Leslie up. 
because I'm sure she's going to get something like free or something, something off her bill or something. But anyway, listings go into list perfectly first. I do have a person that drafts listings for me. Um, my operation has grown a lot bigger, and as a full-time reseller who works another full-time job, I just decided that I would try outsourcing that um, to the end of the year and see how it goes. So far, so good. Um, there's some mistakes sometimes, but there was mistakes when I did it myself. Um, and then from there, I can push them out to all the platforms. So I, it goes to Poshmark first, and normally listings can be on Poshmark three to seven days before they're on any other um, platform. I really push Poshmark as my main platform. Um, I just like it. I have the most traction on there. I have the most sales, as you can tell, on there. Um, but I do list on eBay, Macari, Kitizen, Depop, TradeZ, Facebook Marketplace, and Grill. So I'm all over the place, but Poshmark is my main bay. Um, so yeah, so if you haven't tried Macari, I do have a Macari-like sign-up code. I will link that in the description, and you can go sign up. And you can I'll also put my store name is in the description for Macari as well. Um, so if you have like Macari credits and you want to shop there, er, most things that are on Poshmark are listed on Macari. They will they eventually make it to Macari. So if you see something on Poshmark, but you want to shop on Macari or Kitizen or one of the other platforms because I cross list everything. Um, if you shoot me a message, or leave me a comment, I can make it appear there for you relatively quickly so you can use your credit next up was a, a kitizen zell so i do have my kitizen information linked below i do not do a lot of sales on kitizen but it's really i started on kitizen because when you listed on kitizen it automatically listed to facebook marketplace and so i that's why i started doing it in the beginning um and now i just have stuck with it. I don't sell a ton of kids clothes. Um, like I don't source a lot of kids clothes. Um, but I do sell my, my daughter's things and I do buy her things off of there. But this Marona button down shirt sold for $16.50 after the $2 and 48 cents and fees and the $4 shipping discount. I was left with 10 02. And then that brings my Thursday total to $131.44. And then Friday, we had one sale. It was this on Poshmark. It was this logo by Lori Goldstein Cardigan. Um, it was one of my consignee Jennifer's items. It sold for $11 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $1.50. Or no, and the dollar fifty shipping discount, I was left with six dollars and fifty five cents. And then rounding out our week, actually we did round out our week. What did we stop? We stopped on Sunday because we started on Monday. So two more days. Saturday, which was my birthday, I turned forty eight. So um, and I didn't work on my birthday, did I? I'm not sure. I don't really consider this work, even though it is work, because I like doing it so much. But first up, I sold this Carhartt hooded coat, size extra large. It was my dad's. It sold for $50. I took an offer for $50 after the $10. No, I sent like Likers to offers. After the $10 in fees and the $1.50 ship, shipping discount, I was left with $38.50. Um, and so my dad, I am the... Uh, what is it? The trustee, the executor, executor of my dad's estate. So I am putting all the items. I take off um, 20% because um, I was directed to by my account and for taxes because I do have to pay taxes on this income um, like you should be doing too. And then the balance goes into an account, an estate account. And so that money will be split between my sister and I, Queen Lemon Cake, um, when we settled his estate. Uh, 
Next step were these uh, was another Poshmark sale, and it was these. I'm probably butchering this. Siestu Mushi Yogita Booty, size eight, and it sold for twenty six dollars after the five dollar and fifty cents in fees and the dollar fifty shipping discount. I was left with nineteen dollars and twenty cents. Then finally on Saturday were these Indigo Rain Multicolor Wide Leg Pants, size small. They were a consignee item from Julia. Um, and they have been listed since September. They were item 1,268. And I tell you how much that made. I made 10.05 off of them. I can't remember. But they sold for $13. That brings my Saturday total to $68.05 for those three items. And then last day of the week. So we started on a Monday, so we're going to end on a Sunday this month. Um, let's see. We had seven sales. And the first was this Kate Spade Cameron Street uh, purse. It was from my consignee, Krista. Uh, it sold for $31 after the $6.20 in fees and the $1.50 shipping discount. Um, we were left with $23.30, and it had been listed since about February. Next, I had a bundle of three things. So, this Varenza Peasant Blouse, size 18, this Lane Bryant um, silver and black dress. It was new with the tags and this velvet heart button down shirt. So the dress and was Jennifer's and the sh it might not have been Jennifer's. It might have been the one I sourced. I have to look at my spreadsheet. And the velvet hearts button down was definitely Krista. So those three items I had in a bundle. Um, they sold for $20 after the $4 Poshmark fee. I made $16. Um, very low interest in those items, so I was okay with letting them go. Next up on Poshmark were these Nike Dry Fit Pants Extra Large. Um, they have been listed since October. They sold for $17 after the $3.40 in fees and the $1.50 shipping discount. I was left with $12.10. Um, next was this Kendall and Kylie strawberry print two-piece swimsuit. This was my oldest daughter, Courtney's. I actually remember the, buying this in Florida like two years ago. So it sold for $8 after the $2.95 fee. I was left with $5.05. Um, it had been listed since July. It was item 1,184. Then next up, um, also on Poshmark, was this Johnny Was short sleeve top size large. It sold for $37 after the $7.40 in uh, Poshmark fees and the $1.50 shipping discount. I was left with $28.10, um, and it had been listed since September. It was listing $1,685. And anytime you can find Johnny Was, it is hard to find any piece. I would pick it up. There is a market for it. People will sell. Of course, the heavily embroidered tunics will go, and jackets and things like that will go for more money. But there, it, that piece had a lot of traction in a short amount of time, a lot of attention. So the next item to sell was this pink quarter zip size medium. It had been listed, one of my first listings back from 2019 when I started. It's finally sold. It was, it sold for $8 after $2.95 in fees and the $1.50 shipping discount. I made a whopping $3.55. Thank goodness that was my daughter's item and it was just donated to me. Or she just, I just took it out of her closet. Um, and it's still $3.55 that I would have given to the Goodwill three years ago. And now it's in my pocket. Next up were these Roca Wear size 7 jeans. They sold on Macari and another kind of old item, one of my first items. They sold for $12 after the $1.85 in fees and 
some shipping that I could not figure out what I did with that. I think I paid like $7 in shipping, but I was left with $3.15. I know that once again, they were my daughters and they had been around for a while. I don't even think she ever like wore them. I think she thrifted them and then, and then didn't like them. And so, yeah, we ended up reselling them. So what does the week look like? Well, the total came to $412.15 in sales, 25 items sold, and an average sale price of $16.47. So in comparison to my monthly goals, we are at 18.7% of my sales total for the month. Um, so running a little bit behind because I should be at 25%. Um, as far as items sold, um, my goal was to sell 160 items this month and I'm at 16%. So yeah. And then my average sell price goal is I wanted to be at $15 average sell price and I'm at 1647. So I'm killing it. So I am selling fewer items for less amount. I'm trying to find that sweet spot where I can, um, consistently sell items, get up to that 160 goal, um, and still maintain my average sale price. So that was my week. I'd love to hear about your week. Drop me in a comment down below. If you are still here with me, I am doing a drawing for anyone who comments on my videos um, from now to Black Friday. I'm going to be giving away some Starbucks cards because we all need to be caffeinated. For the rest of this quarter four so leave your favorite drink and it can be from starbucks or it can be from anywhere um it can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic in the comments down below and that enters you into the drawing and also i'd like to hear what your best sell of the week was and how your week, week went hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up until next time bye